Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our nitrous control in our Megasquirt 3 applications. So when we want to spray nitrous, we have some flexibility in our software to control a nitrous solenoid. We can either have a basic on-off control, it's going to turn the nitrous on or off based on engine RPM, or we have a progressive control, it's going to send a pulse width modulated output to control our nitrous solenoid, similar to a fuel injector or a boost solenoid, and we can vary the flow that's going into our engine based on either engine RPM or time. So we have a couple of different strategies we can work with. I'm going to be showing you all of them in this video, as well as showing you how to calculate the proper fuel injector pulse width to put into the software if we have a dry kit and we're trying to spray additional fuel through our fuel injectors to match the nitrous that we're spraying into the engine. So we're going to be taking a look at all that. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our nitrous control and our Megasquirt 3 applications. Let's jump into advanced engine, move down in here to nitrous system, and this is going to be where we find our nitrous programming. Now we can see here at the top, nitrous control, let's go turn it on, and we're going to see that a whole bunch of programming details have to be set up in order for this to work right. Now the first one we see here, the enable nitrous above RPM, and we also find a max RPM. So this is our min and max RPM points, the lowest point we want to spray nitrous, and then the highest point we want to spray nitrous. Normally here for the max RPM, I set this two to 300 RPMs below whatever the rev limiter is at on the engine. So if I'm tuning a V8 engine with my mega squirt, um, we're going to see that if I have my rev limiter at 6500, I might set this at something like 62 or 6300. That's going to be turning my nitrous off before I hit the rev limiter. And that's super important, or we could definitely blow the engine. Um, it's going to be unsafe to spray nitrous on a rev limiter. Now the turn on point or the minimum point, this is going to be the point where um, on a V8 engine, we're going to be right around um, our maximum torque or near a maximum torque, um, or on a four-cylinder engine, the same idea. So depending on the engine we're, we're operating at, I typically spray this a little bit before or right around our, my maximum torque or near the peak torque point of the motor. I don't want to spray it too low. Um, we're going to find that if we spray nitrous at too low RPM, we can load up the connecting rods. Um, we can break a connecting rod or potentially damage the connecting rod bearings. So um, if I'm on a four-cylinder engine revving to something like 9,000, I'll probably spray this something like four or 5,000 RPM or start my nitrous. Now some other things to keep in mind here, we have a coolant temp above, we have to be higher than this coolant temp. We want to be out of the warm-up enrichment and uh, in order to spray our nitrous. We don't want to be spraying nitrous when we have the warm-up enrichment um, turning on and working. So 150, 160 here is going to be sufficient. Next we're going to find greater than this TPS threshold. We can see 80% is here. Normally I'll set this between 70 to 80%. So we have to be higher than this throttle threshold in order for the nitrous to turn on. So we actually have to meet all three of these conditions here. So 3000 RPM, 150 coolant temp, and 80% throttle for the nitrous to turn on. And if we don't meet it, then it's not going to work. And then we're going to find that our max RPM here, this is going to override all the other settings here. So we're going to simply just turn it off at this RPM. The enrich which bank, this is going to be applying to uh, a V engine, so V4, V6, V8, V10, V12. Generally speaking, we're always going to set it on both. This is going to be which it uh, sends the fuel enrichment to. I don't really see a reason why you'd ever use a single bank here, bank one, bank two. If we're spraying nitrous, we're going to be spraying it into the engine, and we want to make sure that all the cylinders are getting fuel, so always select both here. Now, next we'll find the on-off progressive or, or, or progressive mode. So we're going to be taking a look at the on-off mode here first, then we'll move into the progressive mode. The on-off is a little bit more simplistic and control. That's when we simply go and ground a relay, turn on a solenoid. So we have our nitrous solenoid or the nitrous and fuel solenoids, and we're simply going to be using a relay to control it. So we're going to turn the relay on and turning it off. The progressive mode is going to be if we have a nitrous solenoid that can be pulsed like a boost solenoid or a fuel injector, and we'll be taking a look at that again next. So we'll leave it on on-off right now.